Dancers and musicians took to the stage Friday to entertain children and teenagers from area schools. The World Dance Celebration, which was held in the Robert B. Moore Theater, featured dance and music styles from all over the world. The actual process for the students happens when the semester starts and they have four months to learn my material, we costume it, uh, we stage it, we light it, and so it's, a, it's an intense but very rewarding process. It's really yeah. exciting. It's a, being on stage and performing is it's definitely so like addicting. Exciting. It's exciting, it's fun, and it's It's a challenge rewarding. too yeah. because you got to work in it like, a lot. And it's very like, mental. I mean yeah. you could have the dance perfectly but if you don't have you know, everything up there. Oh, I think it was wonderful. It was a great experience for the kids. I think it was a good performance. Oh, having the, the having the audience really enjoy it is the most rewarding experience. I can't tell you how rewarding it is to perform. Obviously, that's what keeps us doing this amazing, uh, intense work just to get four minutes on the stage. The rewards are endless. First of all, it empowers you because you have a success and you worked really hard and you deserve that success. Aside from the dancing and music, the show's stage manager also detailed what goes on behind the curtain. I'm basically backstage with the headset, lots of crazy things. I'm communicating with Brock and Dave from the light and soundboard and they're telling me when to put the dancers on stage, when to set things, um, basically curtain on and off so dancers could be standing there forever if I don't pull the curtain then no one sees them. I'm actually a dancer, I'm not a techie firsthand, so I'm like on the other side today and it went really well. From the campus of OCC, I'm Fred Porter for the Coast Report.